Hello everyone, welcome back to Feed All Monsters. We're on the last six levels, I believe. Let's just jump out into the overworld and check. So we are on 194, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 200. So seven levels to do. This level, this episode, this video will be as long as it takes to beat those seven episodes. If the timestamp says it is two hours long, something's gone very, very wrong. Okay, 194. We have a carrot. We have three spawn points. We have a portal. We also have a very long river. If I give you the carrot, you can't make it onto the river from there. But you can make it to there, but that doesn't help me. There's also this orange portal. Didn't see that one yet. Then we could instead start for two here. I feel like that does quite a lot of work. So our other spawns are up here and down here. Well, if we take the carrot yeah, to here, that's good. And then this is just a corner. You're missing two, huh? Damn. Well then. That's a problem. That is a big problem. I thought I was so close to the solution, but apparently I'm not. Six here. If it's going to be three and three. It's probably this. I'm going to sneeze. Three sneezes. So we've not got you using a portal. You can get in there. That's not bad. You need one more after that. We can spawn in here. We can get to the blue portal. But we can't go through any smoke. Which is its own problem. Well, we can add one movement to somebody. You're there. You're now sorted. What happens if you go the other way here? You can't move far enough without the river to help. Ah! Alright, show me where Short Walk is going. You're starting here. Then, excuse you, I just have to assume that this is how they're starting. All this and that sorts them out. Yeah. Then you need three. I give you one extra movement. You can't walk against the flow. And there's no way I can put somebody down here to score. That leaves me with that option instead. Even if I took the carrot, I couldn't walk up to actually be able to feed something else. So, carrot here. Two and two. 
leaves so much else to do. And carrot here doesn't look like it's going to be helpful because there's just so much else to be fed. There is a gold teleporter, but even with it, I don't function. So let's swap these two. Try you there. Two and two and two. Give you the carrot. You need two, you need one. Can I do that with this? I can. Good. All right, 194. Done. 195. Onigiri and a carrot. A very big river and two teleporters and some mud and some clouds. Right. Only three spawns is good. If I do this, I cut off both of the teleporters, which probably isn't ideal. Because this needs one up here, and I can't do it through this cloud. That's me to zero. Can't go through those clouds either. Right, what if we... It's so tricky because there have been many puzzles throughout the game where we don't need to use every portal that's presented to us or every item that's presented to us. So figuring out what is and is not necessary is its whole own challenge. If I give you this... don't have enough movement to get up to there. But that is a lot of that stuff done. It's just you and you left. Okay then. Where's our other spawners? Here? For one. And here for three. If you have a carrot, I can't stretch you up to the corner. Okay then, well, what if instead you go up to the corner? Not enough. Not enough. You've already got the onigiri. You can get three there. Ah, come on, game. Give me so many, so many options. Starting from up here always feels like you want the really buff guy. To do loads of moving. If we do that, we need to do three, three, and one. If you start here, somebody has to get up to that corner. You can do it that way, then if you have an on onigiri... You just need to get to there. And there. There you go. I feel like I did that once already, but clearly I was off somewhere. 196. We have all of the items 
and teleporters and whirlpools and rivers and mud and smoke. Everything. Right, so who's going to be the toughest to feed? You are surrounded by a lot of smoke, and this portal, very, very short throw. So, 3332. Three, three. We do have a frying pan. To touch you on both corners. Wait, I can't give you. Wait. You have the onigiri. You have the carrot. You need the carrot to do what you've done. I'm trying to figure out where I could throw something with the frying pan to get this level finished, because I can do that, which gets this guy fed. It's just this one needing one more. But I can't throw frying pan from here and these guys both already have an object <laughs> might not even be right uh, come on brain you can do it you can do it brain Take off all the gear. Yeah. 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 If you started here, you are going to be very ineffective. But sometimes that's what you need. If you have the carrot, rather than doing a full lap, we could do it that way. Don't know if that changes anything. So we have three food. Hadn't even noticed this blue teleporter. Wasn't even on my radar. Doesn't help me at all, really. All right, give me Munchie. Munchie's on the side. Could have any piece of gear, but could also immediately go in the teleporter. Couldn't they? And that would solve all of that. And then we just got six and six here. I want this guy to get in the teleporter. Ends up like that. Then from here, two, two, a. Always tricking me with going up river. One ninety-seven. No gear. Have to use the teleporters to get to the opposing side of the level. Yeah. Now, if we do this, we cut off this spawner. So I think yeah. Marius has to start this. Because it's the only one they can really function on. Yeah. Yeah. So then... do that and this ah the one short how can this be 
we've all used all of our movement except this one has one extra step that is inconsequential this feels like it should be the answer doesn't it it should feel like you can pull that down and do one on each side so let's swap these two and see if that changes anything for us well, of course it does, because it means that this guy isn't fully fed. Is there some kind of trick? Do I actually only need... two of these guys to finish? No, but we can't walk through each other's paths, obviously. So what tiny snippet of m difference have I missed? Yeah. Oh, well. No, because I can't do that either. How does this seem so simple and yet so unsolvable? Yeah. I do that. Yeah. Can't do that. Yeah. That doesn't work because you have to be fed by two on at least one side. Am I missing something really simple here? What am I missing? How is there so few options? And yet this has become so complicated. Because he cannot start here. Oh, perhaps it's that. Perhaps it's that. That saves us one tile of zigzagging by doing this. There you go. You tricked me, game. You tricked me. A good trick, though. 198. Back to all of our gear on a giant level. A couple of sixes needing feeding. A couple of ones at the edges. Possible frying pan fodder. Hard to be sure. Toughest to feed. Possibly this six because it's kind of far away from the spawns and Melonic is going to struggle to do all that feeding at distance herself. frying pan can we we can't ever get to that to finish we have one unused step but unless we do you there which means you don't need the frying pan you can take the frying pan you don't need it either. Yes, you do. Then... We have you left. Because this goes for six, right? Yeah. Yeah. 
So with no gear, we can do it that way. And we've got a bunch of awkward ones around the place. And there's no way we have the movement to get all the way around all of that. I need to? There's some way I could throw a frying pan at that guy. Yeah. But if you did that... Actually, you can get there without a frying pan or anything else. But I can't turn the corner do the feed. We still have one movement, but it's inconsequential to us. But maybe if we swap these two. We can do that. You can come back one. No. You still have two. And the onigiri. You have three. You don't need the extra movement for that. But with a frying pan, you can't hit them either. You can hit them with a frying pan, but if you have a carrot, the carrot is not enough to take one extra step upwards. But what if we swap these two? You go here with the carrot, and you go here with the onigiri. There you go, we sussed it out. One ninety nine. Just a frying pan. Oh god, it's only just occurred to me that 200 is going to be some kind of boss level. I totally forgot that bit. One ninety nine. Great big pool of mud, possibly throwing a frying pan over the line. Would make a lot of sense. That looks good. This would look good. Oh, does the cloud stop the frying pan? It might. I've not seen that yet. Uh, but either way, we pin this person into a corner that way. And they're going to need more food. So perhaps it's this. These need threes, and I can't do three. They are very awkwardly stood, aren't they? If I do this, I cannot reach up there. And if you have a frying pan, you can throw up there once you're already in the cr cloud that we don't feed this guy for enough. So, then what? Take that off. I'm really running under the mental assumption that we're throwing a frying pan at this guy to finish. But I don't think we're throwing it because we can't feed something and get the angle. Uh -huh. 
This guy needs four. It might be actually this. And then we have to figure out the rest some other way. But if we just look at this dog in the mud, this is two movement, four movement. This is cloud. So if this is six movement and seven movement, and this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight movement, I think we actually have to throw the frying pan yeah. at that dog. Which means, how do we do threes for the other guys alone? That seems best. But that doesn't seem right. How do I get... Well, we could do that, but that seems very bad as well. Um, ah, oh, come on now, brain. What if we try? No, that that doesn't seem good. This doesn't seem great either. This two in the top right corner is in such an awkward spot. That might not be bad. But we're definitely not strong enough to be feeding everything else on this left side like this. Okay. How about that? There you go. Mama Burb. 17 food. All of our trinkets and tokens. Is this a tile we can walk into? It is. Just in case it matters. Obvious first thought is that we have a frying pan. But there's no way I can do six food here. That looks like where we might be throwing the frying pan. That looks very strong. That looks incredibly strong. If I put a carrot on here and a frying pan here, solve island six and unlock all the photos. Congratulations, you fed Mama Burb. This is cause for a celebratory photo. Usually, she takes long flights to find food for her young ones. However, when the weather conditions on the mountain become too harsh, she relies heavily on the delivery service. Thank you for playing Feed All Monsters. Julian, Sebastian, Josia, Simone, Diana, Marcel, Daniel, Miko, Philip, Patrick, Mario, Benjamin. Loads of translations. Special thanks to these wonderful people. Made in Game Maker Studio 2. The end. Alright. 
That was a swift, fun, fast time. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. If you have any recommendations for games in a similar vein, let me know in the comments down below. Otherwise, subscribe for more content like this. Look in the description for other playlists you might enjoy. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.